We've created a custom counter title that lets you display any value you want on screen in just a few clicks. Whether you need a dollar sign at the start, a percentage at the end, or complete control over the starting and ending numbers, even the time it takes to count to that number, this tool does it all. And the best part, we've added it to a free starter pack so you can start using it today. In this video, I'll show you how to install this powerful tool and get the most out of it. So if you're ready to take your projects to the next level, let's dive in. You can download the starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. It will give you the zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. Then in the folder, you'll find a couple of things. You got the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font provided. Otherwise, a lot of the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to use. So make sure to select all the font if that's the first time that you're installing the pack. And then you can just double click on them to start the installation process. If you've already installed the pack in the past, and you're just making an update right now, there is no need to reinstall the font. You can just install only the TRFX file. So then you can just double click on the TRFX file. And if uh, that's your first time installing it, it will offer you to install. And if you're making an update, it will ask you to overwrite. So let's just overwrite it right now. Then once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Titles, Filter Studio, and then you can scroll down to Free Starter Pack 2.0, then Essentials, and you will get the ultimate counter right here. You can then just take it and drag it in your timeline. If you play it, as you can see, we're dropping a few frame right now. So what you can do is going to playback, then here in a render cache, make sure that you have smart selected. By default, it's in none. And if you have it select in smart, it will just bring over that bar right here that will switch from red to blue. And when it's fully blue, that means that the title has been fully cached in, meaning that you're gonna get real-time playback when you play it. All right, so right now let's get through what you can do with that title. So obviously you can just extend or reduce the length of the overall title, but you also have more control over the animation right here in the inspector. First off, you can control the length it takes to go from the starting number to the ending number. So here it's two seconds. We could reduce that to one second for now. And as you can see, it will be just twice as fast. And it will take only one second to reach that number. We can also choose the type of animation. So right now we have a slight down animation, but we could choose to have it come from different direction. Uh, we could have a zoom in animation instead, as you can see. Uh, so you can choose from those different options. If you don't want to have any animation at all, you can choose none. And as you can see, uh, you will just have the contour being displayed and you will not have any sort of fading animation. Same thing here for the animation out. By default here, it's selected as slide up. If you don't want to have any animation, you can just here select none and you will have no animation at the end. Or you can choose to have, for example, here pan right and you will have an animation that will go from left to right and fading away. Now for the control of the value on screen, as you can see here, we have a prefix and a suffix. That means that anything you add here as a prefix will be displayed before the number and anything you add here as a suffix will be displayed after the number. So here you can basically switch to any other uh, value currency you want. For example, right now the dollar is at the front, but we could just delete it and add it at the end if we want. We can also swap that, for example, here for percentage, and we can make here a minus percentage by adding a minus at the beginning. So you can really play around and display any sort of value you want very easily uh, by using those two. Then we have control over the starting number and the final number. So here, for example, we could choose to add it being 70 and then the final number being I don't know 360 for example and as you can see we'll just start counting from minus 70 all the way to minus 360 if we want it to not be minus we can just remove here that minus and it will have the same result so right now we are basically seeing you know all the number uh, starting from 70 to 360 but obviously if you have a way bigger number like this it will start counting from 70 but it will very quickly just jump to the higher number because there is not enough time to count in one second and it will just really jump quickly into the millions or thousands um, so that's just something to take into account if you want to have like every single number being displayed um, you need to choose value that are within the same range you know like in the hundreds in the thousand or whatever 
However, if you jump higher than that, it will uh, jump straight up to millions, for example. Another quick tip, as you can see right now, all the number are just uh, counting. But if you only want to have like the first number counting and everything else being at zero, what you can do is use the suffix. So here, for example, I don't know, you want to count from 20 million all the way to 70 million. Let's say what you can do is simply going to suffix right here. So we're going to add like the dollar sign at the beginning. And so here, what we're going to do is simply comma zero, 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 comma zero, zero, zero. And that way we have a 46 million display and that's going to count from 20 million all the way to 70 million by just counting um, the front value and not having those being changed. They're gonna just stay zero during the entire animation. All right, so that's for all the functionalities. Um, and now for further uh, design customization, you can go over to the counter text or the title text. As you can see, there is a text uh, above the counter. Uh, we just added that so it's animated the same way as the counter. If you need to add anything, you will have basically a block animation with both of them. But if you don't want to have that text, you can simply here untick that box and you will just have the counter being displayed. If you want to have the text, you can just replace that for whatever you want. Uh, you can change the font, the color, the size, tracking and position, etc. Right now, let's just keep it deactivated and then we're going to move over to the counter text to show what uh, modification we can do to the counter. So here I'm going to drag that to my second track. We're going to go over to 36 gradient background, which is also in the free starter pack. And I'm just going to drag here a background in the first track, just so we don't have a black background at the back. And I can show you the different design modification like shadow we can do with that. So for this specific title, we've used the shading element. I'm just going to expand here my inspector so we have more space. And basically, you'll see that as we toggle in between those different shading elements, we're going to be able to bring um, different customization. So here, for example, we have shadows, we have text border, we have text 3D border, we get text outline and we get text background. So, for example, here, if I'm activating the text background, as you can see now, we have basically a box behind the counter that appear and that box is going to be adapted automatically with the text. So here, if I just remove the zero, as you can see, and we're going to 46,000, it has adapted automatically, which is very helpful if you're going, for example, here in higher value and you going from a small value to a high value, it will basically adapt automatically to the counter being displayed. Now, another shading element here going to be the outline. So you're going to have like a box outline around your text and same thing. It will adapt automatically to the number being displayed. Then we have another one here being the text 3D border. It's very subtle, but it basically gives um, a bit more of an edge here to the counter. It's not a very clean outline. It's been slightly uh, distorted uh, to create like a different effect. Then we have the normal border. As you can see, it's just a lot more even. Um, and it's a normal outline. You could choose to have only the outline, for example. Here, if you deactivate the uh, rounded, you can have only the outline and then you can just fine tune that outlining uh, by reducing, for example, here the thickness to have something that is you know, a bit more uh, precise and it will give you a very different look already. Uh, you can obviously change the color right now. It's gray, but you can go around and just change it for blue, for white or for whatever other color you want. And then the last one here is just a shadow. So it's just like a drop down shadow that you can activate right here. You can uh, change, you know, the position of that shadow. You can change the intensity, the opacity. So yeah, there is just all those shading elements you can just utilize and experiment with to get the look that you want for your counter. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.